Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. My name is Jalal Ahmad, and in this tutorial, what we will be learning is that we will select a row, and these uh, values of each column will be uh, will fill each and every field and this combo box uh, uh, with corresponding values. So for that purpose, I will take uh, mouse click event, and in mouse click event. I will first take the row, the selected row, and it will get the column, and by that I will get uh, the ID. So to, to to take the ID, I will take this variable intro, and will know the table name that is table. So paste it in here get selected row get selected this is the selected row okay it is now having an int value which is the um, which is the number of selected row similarly i will take another uh, string variable selection equal to and uh, it will be table dot get model so in here we are having now all the data of this table of the mentioned table so in all of the data we will take the value get value at row which is the selected one and we will mention here the column so it is the zero column let me show you first convert it uh, to string and now let me show you the logic of this zero <coughs> we need id and it is the column number zero this is the column number uh, one two three similarly <coughs> sorry guys so in that way i use uh, zero okay now come to our SQL part and write the query that is select all from users where id is equal to i where id is equal to selection okay <clears throat> now come to the try catch block and write here pst equal to con dot prepare statement and now r is equal to pst dot execute query and if query executed and found the record for this selection in the table in the users table so if this becomes true so come to this body uh, come to body of f and uh, what we have to do first i will fill this set this uh, combo box j combo box to copy and uh, paste it here set selected item to rs dot get string write the column name which is id let me show you its id f name l name father city country so we will be using these fields names and uh, id now i will set the text fields so let me take the variable name f name the variable name and then set text equal to that is rs dot get string and in get string i will use the f name so it will this field will contain the value of this column similarly we'll uh, fill the remaining ones l name and another one is uh, father this one is city and this one is country 
chemical leak chain keys fields name as well this is country and this one is city and this one is father and this one is L name so these are the names of JTX fields and these are the names of the columns which uh, from where these text fields takes the data now right here the dialog box j option pen dot uh, show message dialog it will throw uh, this exception in the dialog box if there is any error so shift f6 to run and now select and you can see the relevant data is uh, filled into the corresponding fields so you can select four it is four in here it's abc and let me show you the different values that is you can see six in the combo box and uh, ahmad in first name khan in the second name last name father is from here kabir and charsadda the city name pakistan the country name so similarly you can select this uh, with mouse click and if you want to make this selection uh, with up and down arrow keys just copy this code and come here to the table right click events and key and just here the key released event so come here copy and paste this code and uh, shift f6 to run click this down arrow key you can see and you can see it is changing all the values and up arrow keys are also changing the values of fields and the combo box uh, correspondingly so this was about this tutorial hope you guys have learned something with this tutorial and you have enjoyed the tutorial if you have enjoyed the tutorial and learned something and if you have any query please leave your comments i will uh, try to help you uh, according to my best so please stay tuned and read comment and subscribe my channel thanks for now